many of us have been growing up with this fear that if we say something, we'll be penalized for it. If we say something, we're going to get beat up for that. If we say something, then, you know, some kind of law enforcement is going to have to step in. If we say something, then we're going to get disciplined in some kind of way. But this is not the time to allow the devil to muzzle your mouth. You understand me? Like, if you feel like you are led, okay, into doing something, saying something, being who it is that who God has called you to be, speak up, speak out. You know that saying, closed mouth, don't get fed? A lot of us have been smothering our voice. We've been holding ourselves hostage. Some of us have been holding our own mouths shut because of what we have not been speaking into existence. What are we doing? What are we saying? First, the power of life and death is in the tongue, guys. Regardless if you are biblical, regardless if you are a Christian or not, that is a fact. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Okay? You can speak life onto somebody and you can also speak death onto somebody. What you say to somebody, somebody can hold that for years and have a grudge against you because of what you said. It can be a decade from now. So speak life into your situation, speak life into your body, speak life into your career. Speak life into your family, man. Speak life into your business, speak life on whatever it is that you, you know, you just may feel is just not working out. Some of you guys got to remove yourself from complainers, gossipers, naysayers, negative, negative minded people. Like people that have an ill intent for you, they just out to get you for some reason. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you become successful. They don't want to see, you know, the growth. The power of life and death is in the tongue. You have a lot of power in your voice. All right. The tongue can be uh, dominant. The tongue can be damaging. Right. We have dominion over the devil. We have dominion over such things in this world. We have dominion. We can speak it and it is so because God has given us that. Right? This ain't about really business. This ain't about it's just your life, man. Yeah, we all are wearing masks. You can't go anywhere without a mask, but don't let your mask become your muzzle. Your mask is not a muzzle. Your mask is not your muzzle. Don't let that mask take ownership of the opportunity that the Lord wants to introduce to you. Don't let your mask muzzle you, suffocate you, strangle you away from what God wants you to speak into existence. Speak into existence. All right. <laughs> we we respect everybody's you know, a uh, uh, um, uh, opinion. We know that you know, removing the mask is gonna, you know, get get those you know those eyes looking at you like, yo, let's let's get away from this guy. He's crazy, <laughs> right? The world as we know it has changed. Just the landscape of it has changed. But the Lord said, "I will heal the land." All right. So we're gonna put that aside for a minute. All right. Some of you guys have been so focused on just um, masking up in the morning, you done forgot to pray. Oh, where's my mask? Where's my mask? Well, where's your Bible? We've lost the, our, 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 our roots when you think about it. We lost the concept of giving. We lost the concept of love, compassion. Everybody seems to be out to get somebody. Listen. Mask up, but muzzle down. Mask up, but muzzle down. Don't let your mask 
become a problem for you. Okay? No, this is not directed to the medical field, the health field, or nothing like that. But don't let your mask, okay, become a problem for you. All right? Go after what is yours. Stop sitting around just doing nothing and making excuses to say, oh, well, same stuff, different day. Or, you know, things is hard. It's hard for all of us. All right? Tell God to remove the blinders off of you. When you get home, take the mask off and use your voice to impart, to plant what it is that God wants to put in you. Some of you are really good gardeners, and I'm not talking about naturally. I'm talking about spiritually. A lot of you guys are really good gardeners, but you have been planting the wrong seeds into the wrong people. God wants to position you to place the right seeds into the right people. He wants to put you in hands of people that can assist and help you in your business, in helping you with your, 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 your mindset or your children or whatever it is. Some of you guys are led into ministry, whatever it is, no matter what it is. Start that fabric business. Start that cosmetic business, young woman. You become that YouTuber. You become that creator creative. You become that. You become that. You stand up for what you believe in. You do what God has called you to do. But make sure that it is what God has called you to do and not just something that you just out here just, you know. Don't take it personal. All right. Don't take it personal. Take it spiritual. All right. So I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. I wanted to keep the video under eight minutes. <laughs> but listen, we all wearing masks. But that's not our muzzle. Sometimes you got to remove the mask. Speak into the Lord. All right. And he's going to protect you. Take care, guys.